I like to teach students to share their observations by having items out at an observation station. In the station are items they can use for discovery on their own. Today I'm going to tell you about my water station. So I have different things out. I have my beaker of water. I have a little holder with little vials that they can use. And I have an eyedropper so they can squeeze it, you can feel the air, and they can use it to grab some water. And what they'll do is they'll grab water and they'll probably put it inside this. And they might count one, two, three. How many times does it take to fill this up? And that's one activity they'll do. Or I have tweezers for pinching. Good fine motor skills. They'll grab something with their tweezers and put it in the water. And this is when you have a good opportunity to guide their discussion with their friends. This is one time you can say, does this sink or does it float? And they'll get to learn about what sink is, what floating is, and then they will get to try it with something else. And if it's hard to use the tweezers, they don't have to. They can just drop it in. That one sank. So the beans sink and it gives them a chance to be really excited and share it with their friends and let others try. And you can use all sorts of things like paper even. The paper, they'll put it in and they might stick it on there and they might be certain it's gonna sink. But because it's still dry, it's floating. But as you watch, it might start to sink. I like to have things that they can do on their own because children learn so well through playing. And then I like to have things that I can teach them new vocabulary, like sink, float, and filling up and dropping those things.